Today we're at the Plunge factory and headquarters here in Sacramento, California. Let's go check this place out. What's up guys, Dave Moss Jr. here with Ryan, the co-founder of Plunge. We're here in Sacramento, California. We're gonna do a factory tour. And so far, Ryan, I am blown away by how big this place is and how many people are working. There's so much going on. What are we gonna see today? So we're gonna see how the plunge is made. What goes into it, the quality testing, all the people behind the plunge, and ultimately I'm shipping out and going to homes across the country. Dude, it's exciting. We're not only gonna see the plunge cold plunge, but we're even gonna see the plunge sauna and how these are made. Yeah, I don't think anyone's had a tour on camera of our sauna factory, Dude. so I can't wait to show you, man. I'm stoked to be here. Thanks so much for having me. Let's get right into it, let's go. So we're here at Plunge HQ. We got the lines going behind us, seeing all the different plunges that are made. You can see the two styles going off. So we have our XL, basically our pro chillers and our standard chillers. And that's how we delineate what the team's working on. And you can see them coming down. So this first part here, we're actually drilling in, getting all the bulkheads in place, getting every, all the, um, the back end filtration to get ready to get put on. So this is where all, by the time this reaches the end of the line, a whole plunge is built. And wow. then it goes into quality testing. So everything gets done within this section right here. So everything is put together by hand. I see how many employees, if you don't mind me asking, just give or take, how many employees are in here? We have in our warehouse about 110. Between our sauna, wow. between our plunge team. Yeah, I mean, we are, it's, it is a huge team. It's, it's one of the coolest things, like the, the people behind the plunges. Like, yeah, it's a huge part of what we're doing. There's so much going on here, so like, you got over 100 employees in the factory putting stuff together. You've got a massive team inside working with customers and orders, product development, design. This is beyond impressive, <laughs> man. This is beyond impressive. Thanks, man. It's fun to show people. So all of these plunges are being built right now. And I know, you know we have talked a lot, but I know your biggest goal was to try to eliminate the lead times, like Correct. massive lead times where if somebody wants to buy a plunge, they don't have to wait three, four months and sometimes longer than that. And it shows that you're actually investing, you're putting your money where your mouth is on that. Like it, it was a huge undertake. I mean, we had like an eight week lead time, majority of the company. We just always felt like how cool would it be if you can buy a plunge and you're plunging within a few days. So that was a big push for us. It's amazing. Getting ready for Black Friday, Cyber Monday. We wanted to be at a spot where we had stock, inventory, ready to ship. And so the team's working around the clock. We did overtime days for months yeah. with this team just to get as much product as we can, crank down, get that lead time down, and we're finally there. I love it. So this right here is the plunge, the plunge, like Correct. plunge. It's not the XL. What would you recommend as far as like a person's size goes? What would you recommend as like the peak size for the plunge? So I've had both. I'm right six foot. I had the standard and I had the XL. I now prefer the XL. The standard worked for me. Yeah. I would say your knees are gonna be bent. There's not as much depth in the unit. Um, I recommend anyone six feet and taller, just go with the XL. Yeah. If you're 5'11 and shorter, the standard could work. And then it's kind of a preference at that point. Um, but six feet and over, go the XL. And we were comparing sizes on the XL and the new plunge all in. Yep. And to like the naked eye, when you're first looking at it, it looks like the plunge all in might be a little bit smaller, but you were showing me how it's really not. How, the, how you actually lay in the tub with your back against here, and your feet going down, you actually get an extra two inches. Wow. So how the body lays in the unit, there's more room in the all-in. We went with one size with the all-in, because yeah. we felt that it was it was a, such Perfect. a compact space, but it fits like an XL. And I feel like I'm somewhat of like a larger person who's getting into the plunge, and I feel like the XL is great. I feel like the all-in was perfect. I feel like the size was perfect. How tall are you? Six foot one, Yeah. 210 pounds. Yep. Give or take. Yep. Um, and there's a few people that I know who have bought the Plunge XL that are larger than me, and they're like, this is perfect. Like, there's absolutely no issues with size. So I was always curious, because I have not been in the regular Plunge, plunge before, so oh. just curious to see what the what the real size difference was. Yeah, as standard 5'11 or shorter, you can kind of be in that category, six foot and up XL. That's awesome. We got our little detour here. We're going to go hit our company gym that we got, plunges ah. and saunas. It's a oh, great midday. Oh, nice in here. Yeah, hey, this what's is up, man? This is Philip from our engineering What's team. What's up, Philip? I'm David. Nice to, nice to meet you too. So Philip's working hard on the all-in unit. I love it. What's a fun fact? Something you've discovered recently about the all-in? Uh, fun fact: the uh, V3 is 2.93% uh, more. 
power efficient than the V1. That's awesome. That's actually really awesome. So that's almost 3x more efficient. Yes. Then so less power bill. Yeah. It's going to work even keep it at cooler temperatures more efficiently. Man, that's great. How did so cool. How do we figure that out? Oh, uh, we have a you know, unit plugged into the wall measuring power consumption, which uh, particularly in an environment like this, we, we run them without the covers on. So worst case scenario, uh, in a hot environment. So man, that's uh, we, really cool. Showing that the V3 is much more efficient. And it's quieter. Yeah. That was one of the things I noticed up in New York is I was like, these things are on? And they were, because they're so quiet. It was a big piece of feedback we got. You know, it's like you can hear the XL right now running. Yep. You know, they're fine outdoors, but if you wanted them indoors, there's a bit of a, oh, yeah. it's a background noise. This reminds me of my garage gym. We have our plunge in the garage gym where we have like our sauna and stuff set up. And my wife is constantly like, that's the one thing. She'll unplug it when she's in there doing yoga. She just wants a little, little, yeah. little, little noisy. But she'll, you know, sometimes she'll plug it back in. Sometimes she won't plug it back in. And I'll tell you, it's kind of interesting to me how clean the water stays, even when it's not running all the Filtering. time. Like she'll yeah. unplug it. I'll be gone. I'll come back like later in the day and I'll be like, it's quiet in this garage. <laughs> oh, she didn't plug it back in. But the water, I haven't changed it since August 1st when I first put water in this thing and it's still crystal clear. And where are we are? We're in mid-November mid -November. filming of this? Mid-November, yeah. So it's a three and a half months? Yeah, it's still crystal clear. It looks perfect. Love it. No smell, no nothing, no, no weirdness. And I've never changed the water or the filter yet. So I'm super impressed. So the filter change, that was a bit, so I don't change my filter either. And it's mostly due to, I'm lazy. <laughs> and There's not though. The, the all in has just made the filter change a lot easier. You come check this out over here. This is a big, just the simplicity of it getting in, being able to just do it without having to get behind the unit. Yeah, so we have the, the new filter on the all-in here, just made it a lot more accessible. Right on top, man. Really so easy cool. to get in, get out. This is the auto-dosing unit. Um, so this is going on the, it's a new feature to the all-in plunge. It's cool. For our, especially for our commercial units, automatically maintains and balances the water awesome. with any chemicals, really a game changer for staff. Um, and that'll be oh, a cool. kind of, mounted and very clean and, and put on to the side of the all-in here. So that's Man. a feature that uh, is now available on the site, ships out beginning of January. Dude, that is so cool. It's out of everything. And you've got the rebounder over here, which is cool. Yeah, rebounder for no other reason than it's fun. I just love jumping Yeah. post-plunge. <laughs> uh, feel incredible. Love it. It's fun walking into people midday, just bouncing around. <laughs> we, I mean, we tested so many trampolines that we had I think like four in the in the office there. Yeah. And it was just people midday just bouncing all day. That's great. They're man. great for offices. Uh, so good. Just for like a I minute, minute jump, get the blood going. Oh yeah. Um, this is awesome. Remember that show back in the day, the man show? Was it the man show? Yeah. They'd <laughs> be jumping at the end. Adam Carolla. And I think Rogan was on Whatever that. happened to that? Yeah, went away. <laughs> just um, turn around. Yeah, we got the sauna. Fun fact here, we do, uh, majority of our like final interviews are done so in the cool. sauna and the cold. Um, just a great way to bond, connect, kind of see culture fit. I love that. Um, That's actually a great idea. You know, like how can you work for plunge and not cold plunge and sauna. You know yep. what I mean? Like, I feel like that's like a part of it. The yep. DNA. Yeah. <laughs> that, thing, that thing, that thing, that's the original sauna. Is it? That was the first one ever made. That's the first one ever made? Yeah. That's so cool. And it's, it's Dude, I just can't get over how many tubs are just, just everywhere. Yeah. It's just a, a, a city of, of plunge tubs. What's, What's up, up brother? How you doing, man? So I've noticed as we've walked down the line, like you were saying, that as we get further down the line, it looks more and more complete. Correct. So this, Traveler, we got the unit here. It's the standard cold. Gets checked off for each by each department by the QC team. And you can see here, once it turns that corner, yeah, it leaves production and goes into quality. So that unit that's a fully turned, now they are fully inspecting it, making sure that it meets all specifications from an aesthetic standpoint, all the cuts, everything. And then we'll go down there and actually show where it tests to wow. check for leaks or any, any issues with the unit. So impressive, man. Is that the heating? Are those the heaters? So if yep. you have the heating option? Yep, that's where heating okay. gets added here. What would that be used for primarily? Because most people aren't buying these to make a hot tub out of, right? Mostly it's for hot, uh, cold, super cold environments. Okay. So if you're a region that gets sub-freezing and you need a way to upregulate the temperature, yeah. so you want to plunge in 45 degrees, even though it's 33 degrees outside and your, your unit doesn't freeze, that's what that is for. It's a great, 
idea. I like that. We I had to solve it. Know that. We had to solve it. We was getting, it was something that was coming up where people were like, we didn't plan for it at first. And then Colorado people are calling us and they're like, hey, my unit's getting so cold, it's about to freeze. It's like, oh, like, we got to figure this out. We need to be able to upregulate the temp. What can happen? Like, what if someone bought one of these and they were in sub-freezing temperatures for a long period of time? Would these tubes maybe explode? Yep. They would, I mean, water gets in there. They're going to crack. They're going to freeze. Okay. Um, so if that water gets down to, you know, sub-freezing temperatures, it's just what water does. Yeah. And so that's a way to make sure that the water's running out of temp, that it doesn't freeze. If that ever, has that ever happened? Um, you know where it's happened? The major issue is like the Austin freeze. Yeah. So when power goes out and it can't upregulate anymore. Yeah. That's the biggest issue. Makes that's sense. the thing we're very, when people are in freezing environments, whether, first of all, if it gets blanketed in snow, like fully covered in snow is an issue. And second of all, is if you're in an environment and power goes out and you haven't drained sense. your unit, it's really susceptible to cracking and breaking. Oh man, that would be such a bummer. Not the tub itself, but the pl but the plumbing. It is a fix. We can get a tech out there. We can, uh, you know, that can be That's fixed. That's good to know. I yeah. Know that. cool. So we have. It's not, we've actually built like a national network of, of plunge techs wow, that come man. and work just on our units. That's awesome. Um, so there there are solutions to it. That's so cool to know. All right, so That's back so over cool. here is like our engineering department. They're working on a bunch of fun new things. Actually. I don't know if you've looked in here. We got testing going on in here. Oh. Um, they're testing for some feature up there. I don't even know. Sometimes this is uh, beyond my understanding what they're working on. But anyways, <laughs> right now what they're really focused on is all-ins. At the moment of this filming, we're starting to ship all-ins the end of this week. Cool. So every all-in that comes in is just getting extra love right now to assure that it's perfect and it goes out good. I love that. Um, so they kind of go through extra testing in here and then they'll go out on the line and get insulated and get ready for shipment. Um, so yeah, this is uh, this is where all the new innovations take That's place. That's amazing, man. All right, so now we come down this way. This is our quality inspection testing zone. So, so what are the big water jugs for? So we, all the water, it's already chilled, we already have it cold and we recycle everything. So all the units get put on. So once they come through here, They've been approved from an aesthetic cut standpoint specs. Cool. They get put onto one of these um, carriers here. They get filled up with water. Within seconds, they're full. And then the unit goes in, they get plugged in, and they get tested. And we're really, at this point, looking for any leaks, um, which we can identify really, really quick. If that comes in, they get put back in the line. But assuming everything goes good, they get signed off and get ready for final shipment down there. That's awesome, man. This is pretty cool. So right here is where all the testing is happening? Yep. So all the testing comes in. So they, you plug them in, you turn them on, pumps are running. Correct. Everything's going on. Correct. Um, wow, man. There's so many. There's so many being tested right now. Yeah, I mean, we have every one of these electrical outlets is a bay that can fit a unit, um, actually fit four to, uh, multiple units on them. And then when the unit's done, the water gets sucked right back up here. It's like a machine that we created and it <laughs> takes the water up in just a few seconds oh, and we cool. just recycle it. So we're not ever wasting any water here. Um, That's awesome. Yeah. This, this is one of my favorite spots to come out at night because oh, the whole, it gets, where, the, it gets dark and all the lights are glowing. Oh, so this zone, uh, it's like a, it's like you're in the matrix or something. I love that. All right. What, what you working on? That's cool. Got, oh, the final girls here connecting them in. Dope. Awesome. How are you? I'm David, by the way. Anthony. Nice to meet you, Anthony. My middle name is Anthony. It's a great name. My initials are damn. <laughs> so we got the back cover here. We got the inside of the chiller wow. placed in here. Um, cool. Dude, there's then, so much inside there. And then the final cover gets put around it. So everything's right here. We have the full filtration system, ozone, you know, the heat compressor. Everything is uh, it's a very small form factor. I think that was one of the big wins with this unit where it's it's all in one, but this unit isn't a huge footprint Yeah. for everything being right there. That's really impressive. I've never seen that, like the whole thing set up like that. Nope. I've seen it with cover on it, but there's so much inside there. So here we are, this is where we get all of our like smaller pieces cut, everything at scale is done here, filter housing, um, all the connection parts. Everything's cut and done and then backfilled onto the line to have the team to be able to crank units out. And then over here, this is where the insulation's put in? Yep, so we have insulation going here on all ends. You can see the unit there. Over there, we have all of our uh, 
plunge, standard plunge and XLs getting insulated. So insulation is one of the final steps here. Everything gets tested first to assure, no check leaks. any leaks, exactly. Final insulation, um, which is really helps for like condensation and obviously just the insulation of the unit to keep it cold. For sure. And then we've got a mountain and like a city of plunges. So these are all plunges. You know, we're mid-November right now. We're gearing up for Black Friday, Cyber Monday. Nice. These are all units that either have homes that are about to go out or we have inventory and we're shipping and we're starting to place around the country in different warehouses that we have. Um, so these are all units ready to find a home. So cool, man. Well, we're gonna help find some homes for them. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> they deserve homes. Take a uh, peek. Look, this is where they're, uh, this is cool. This process is cool. So this is all units getting ready be final up, shipment how are Get you cleaned up these got working super hard right now that's the hard work right there so all the units are cleaned up fully inspected again packaging put into place this contraption Sorry. here helps the chiller go on so we can pick the chillers up oh cool you're good brother uh pick the chillers up place them in and then from here all the final stages are put together which we can walk down this way yeah so here all around us is a mountain of plunges <laughs> units ready for a home That's um, insane, it's one of my favorite things at night to come out and like read games of who's getting plunges where they're going kind of so like cool, isn't it? trying to it, it's a life's about to change totally man a whole community sometimes that's no that's it like a lot of these are the first in their neighborhood yeah that someone's had it people are going to get to experience it yep so it's it's not lost on me it's one of my favorite things i love to look out at the trucks here seeing the units all filled so fedex cool. coming and picking them up and, and taking them around the country it's amazing man it's absolutely amazing All right, so we just saw Plunge Land. Oh yeah. Plunge City. So beautiful. Now we're entering a whole new world. Wow. Totally different material. This is Woodland. This is where the saunas are made. Different team. You can smell the cedar in the air. It smells incredible. Yeah, I love walking in here midday just to kind of feel like I'm in a forest. It feels like that. Got units over here ready to go out. They're home. We got our XLs here. All the standards are over there and some XLs. See the team hard at work making all the cuts. You know, we got electrical work going on, all the dados and the beams getting milled down that way. Wow. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's a full fledged production in here. It really is. It's insane how much is going on. Yeah. It's, Do you it, think the sauna portion of Plunge was going to like take off like it has? Uh, we believed in it. We yeah. obviously invested a lot into it. Yeah. I think. It has been, like for, when we created this product, we wanted it to be, there's a lot of saunas out there. Yeah. We wanted something that was differentiated. Like we wanted it to be unique. And we it weren't is. gonna launch a sauna that was just another sauna. Right. Where, you know, we thought this fit to our lifestyle, what we like from an aesthetic, functionality, the ergonomics of it. Um, so we believed in it, but it's even been more, more well received than right. we imagined. I mean, it's cool. I was telling you earlier, I, I feel like your sauna, you don't even have to have your name on it. Like, it's just a unique look, and you know it's fun to sauna. Yeah, we like the, the hard angles. Yeah. Uh, yeah, very minimal branding that goes on to the same with the plunge. Yeah. Right here, we got cuts on the doors being made. Uh, that's cool. Measuring that out. I like it. Uh, another really cool feature on the sauna is the setup that we we want to make it you get almost like a barrel level functionality yeah with the high heat and traditional sauna but being able to set it up almost like an infrared yeah yeah so this whole unit shows up modularized the floor you set the base down every beam goes in minimal tools that is needed which we provide all the tools for you oh, that's um great. and we like to you know set ups around two hours which we thought was like a big Last thing you want is something to feel like you got to build a house. Exactly. Um, so we're, we're excited on that to really cut down on the setup time. That's great. So you, it looks like you build the whole sauna and then you take it back apart to make sure it all works and you take it back apart and put yep. it in its crate. As we're still growing this at scale. Yeah. You know, as anyone knows, like when you're scaling a product out, like a system that worked when you built 10. Yeah. To when you build at 80, you want to stress test it. 
So everything that we do right now, we spend extra time on it to make sure that that door can fit into that unit. So is, that, is it the same across every, every unit? So we build every single one, we mix and match parts, and that tells us our system is good. That's awesome. We actually test every unit from a heater standpoint. It's another thing that we do, because we pre-wire in the heaters prior, which That's is about so a cool. thousand dollar savings per customer, as opposed to just that heater showing up and hiring an electrician yep. to wire it into the wall. So again, we do all the testing prior to make sure there's no issues. What we do can hit scale, and we can build even more than what we're doing now. I whose idea was it in the in the sauna to have the benches fold up so you could work out in there? I really give most of that credit to Kelly Starrett. Yeah? So we went down and filmed with Kelly two years ago. And Kelly, we were in his sauna, and he was just so adamant. I'm like, I want to do a, like a, a salt bike in the sauna. That's a great idea. So we were like, that seems pretty extreme, but that seems awesome. So the door is actually just wide enough to fit an assault bike. And all the benches clear out in there, so you could actually roll out on the XL, you could roll out a yoga mat, you can do kettlebell swings, full stretching, or bring the assault bike in. That's so cool. And do a workout in there. So the XL, how long is it? Seven feet long. And then how wide? Uh, you got five, uh, about four feet. It's a total of five feet because the back goes okay. out, but four feet on the inside with all the benches That's up. so much room. But then you get five feet on the side for the arms. So That's here, cool. I'll, I'll show you get in I'm six foot a door is you can get in solid, here man. like you know I can't even touch both sides I'm here and you're you can tall. do you can do kettlebell swings I can do yoga I love it you can get the bike in do the workout and so there's a lot light? of room yeah this is the light for the unit wow um, <laughs> yep dude it is so nice it's all connectable to our app so you can actually schedule your time so like say like you want a sauna at 6 a.m and your wife wants a sauna at 4 p.m you could have the unit just rotating and automatically turning on that uh, is so cool tracking your sessions so that's like the most annoying part about a sauna is like you have to plan the sauna because you can't just like all right turn yeah, on it takes 45 minutes an hour yep. to heat up yep 100 yeah. percent. that's great man you can do it all from your app yep from the app great job dude this is so cool Wow, just wow, what an incredible place, right? So Ryan gave me an incredible tour. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that as well. He had to go, so I'm gonna finalize and finish out this video by saying, Ryan and the team here at Plunge, thank you so much for your hospitality, for inviting me into your home, getting to get a backstage tour of how everything is built, how these plunges are made, just the love and care that goes into each and every one of them. If you wanna get yourself a plunge, whether it's the cold plunge or the sauna or any of your accessories, check out my link down below. You can use my discount code, it's DMOSSJUNIOR. That'll save you a huge amount of money, so make sure you check that code down below. I'm gonna go into their private little gym and get myself a cold plunge and a sauna session on and enjoy that. If you are interested in finding out any more about the plunge, I'm gonna have a few videos linked at the end of this video that I think you're gonna wanna check out. So check those out. Make sure you like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day and God bless.